Can you hear me? Good afternoon. We've afternoon got, or evening, people. Yeah, we've got the two gentlemen down the bottom with headsets, so yeah. ground control. No, yeah, leave me off, Scotty. Wayne looks like he's lost. Ground control to Major Wombat. Oh, 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 oh. Get rid of that sound. And that's usually me. Are you there, Wombat? Yeah, uh, kiss my ass. Yeah, I'm here. I've just got problems with uh, headphones. Okay. You sound like you drank some sandpaper as well. Yeah, well, that's why I keep it simple. Galloway? Hey. Galloway, he's, he's talking about my... Um, Galloway pipe. Simple. Oh, yeah, he, he's talking about my weakness. Yeah, go for a painting. Hey, buddy. James. Welcome, welcome. Oh, sorry, Daniel. Hey, go for it. And um, how's your rain going down there, Bilge? Mate, it's clear and sunny today. We had a few showers and that's it. Creek's high, but it's down to its uh, normal high level. Um, I spent yesterday repairing electric fences to the point of where I don't want to repair anymore, just in case we get more rain. And um, it's just a matter of hurry up and wait and see what the weather does. Okay, Jim. Hey, Gilly. Hang on. Um... Oh, here's trouble. Gilly's um... about. Um, let me go up here. Jim, if you're ready, jump on. And uh, MTG, jump on, Gilly. Yeah, uh, go on, Gil. We can't yeah, so possibly Jim, go wrong. Yeah, Jim, uh, I think Gilly, Gilly's got himself sorted, so that's awesome. Um, and Jim, jump on, mate. Click those links. We are waiting for modelers like you to come into our life. Oi, yeah. oi. Magic game. How do you move that mouse? Very good. So, besides having nothing else to do, young Paul, you, you've done well, mate. Yeah, it came out well, but I'm not a fan fan of it. Well, it's not a fan. It's an airplane. No, I wasn't a fan of the build. No, okay, what you did just the uh, quality of the build or no the, the kit? it turned out all right, but just uh putting it together. Considering hey, the last Colin. aircraft the last aircraft I built was the SR seventy one. I've gotten used to building big aircraft. Okay. And cars. And cars. Well, yeah. I think we should, uh, once we're all done here, we all just move on to a car. As long as it's not a London bus. No, we don't want that in our lives now, do we? What car, Jace? Uh, mate, I think I think it should be just um, modeler's choice. No, just modeler's choice, and I'm going to to build the VC. I'm looking at that one. I'm just weighing up my options with uh, that stack there. Yeah, oh, that's going off. I've, I've, I've only got I've only got one car kit left, and I've been holding off on it for a good reason to build it. Well, what what car kit don't you have? 
what about I send you one? No, I've got a few. I've got only a few one can't, Well, actually, there's two I really want to build, but there's one I've got in the stash. It's a certain Commodore from a certain Australian fabricator. Yes. That I've just I've been holding off on and holding off. Oh, look at him! Just put that in your face. <laughs> Whack! That's a backhander. <laughs> hey, it's diecast. I don't care what it's cast. It's a bloody it's Brock's Commodore. Big banger! Thanks for coming. Um, see you at the finish line. <laughs> hang on, who we got? Jimmy's here. Got those two to go, Chase. Very nice, very nice, mate. Chain the board there, but you know what can you do? <laughs> Oh, you're gonna you're going all out there, Paul, with the uh, drama. Not yet. Good. I'm thinking about it. Welcome, buddy. Hey, mate. What's that, bud? I might come on across. Up your volume a bit, mate, on your mic or whatever, because yeah, you're a bit. You can't hear me. Yeah, we can, but you're a bit light. Up, up your volume on your mic, mate. Yeah, that'll do. Paul? Okay. okay. You can go with the other two. Yeah, and um, so, Jim, have you finished your ME109? Yes, sir. Okay, so what we're thinking about uh, once we're... He for a living, he's not a sir. Hold on, let me get so, my computer over by my work thing. Yeah, what we're, what we're thinking about is for the next build... We'll do a car. Pick a car, any car. Okay. Oh, I'm pick. I've just blend over and pick one up. So I'm going to be doing that. Um, I'm getting a delay of some sort. Um, hold on. Let me let me see if I can uh, figure this out on my end, guys. I'm 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 hearing it twice. Yeah, turn your YouTube off. Ah, okay. Yeah, if you got if you got two speaker systems going at once, you're going to okay. Echo. Now I got it. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Yes. You all right? Yeah. Uh, one thing I'm, I can't be mistaken for is knowing what I'm doing when it comes to being on on uh, live chat or working with software. Never. Oh, don't me. worry. I'm anyway. just a sofa. You're probably <laughs> more advanced than I am. Hey, welcome. That's all I can say. Welcome to the, you know, you're amongst people who are the same level. <laughs> yeah. How was everyone's Easter holiday? Yeah, mate. Yeah, pretty good. Yeah, bit, plenty of chocolate lying around, so, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, well me, my sister uh, my sister made a big ham and uh, went over to her house and uh, had plenty of food, so it was, uh, it was a good time. She lives That's in Chicago. Winner. I live about 40 miles outside of the city in a uh, pretty quiet town that um, I've been here about five years now. So when I say Jim from Chicago, it's because that's where I'm from. And, you know, it's about 40 miles is close enough. So if, yeah, I, said us, yeah, if I said us, we go, you might. 50, 50 miles, 80K, buff. So he's like 70 odd K out. Yeah, I said 80 K. So yeah. well, 50 miles, 80 K. Yeah. Um, I confuse you. <laughs> Don't make me choose words. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, guys. I'll be right back. I used to I'll drive right an old banger that was 50 in miles per hour, so I know my speed limits. One back. Yeah. Um, I've got that restorations for you. I uh, hope he's sleeping because I told him, "Don't jump on the live stream at 3 a.m. in the morning. It's just not common sense." <laughs> That's fair call. Yeah, I said, well, I, mean, I told you that this morning. So, um, all you other gentlemen up there, uh, Bilge and um, Paul, to get this restorations for you guys on um, next week, I was thinking around about saying a 10.30 or an 11 o'clock um, start here, and that gets him about 8.30 at night over there. Copy yeah. that. And oh, that'd be good for you too, Jim, as well. Yeah, that's fine. I mean, I, I appreciate that, but um, you know, uh, strange as this may sound, um, uh, being a uh, being a retiree, um, being up at this time, it's not a it's not unusual for me. I 
since I since I'm not working anymore, I've lost all regimentation of, of sleep schedule. So <laughs> well, it hasn't affected you. It hasn't affected your hair growth. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, I, so, I, 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 I love the I love the bald look. So get a yeah, lot of so, light, be the same approval. So. Hey, you and Wombat dead set twins. Peter Garrett love child. Um, but uh, so if we can, so if we do it at 11, 11 o'clock next week, uh, because um, he's got a family as well and he can't be waking them up at three o'clock in the morning and doing live stream, you know, probably not good. But he's got a lot of questions for us that he wants to ask as modelers of us, and I'm like, well, I wouldn't be asking advice from us. <laughs> <laughs> That's like asking Stevie wound up a driving lessons. I mean, seriously. Mm. Uh, uh, well, you know, little little tidbits here and there go a long way. Oh, he, especially he was a really wide nice. He's saying I watched your videos and that, and you know, I see all you know all the skills and that. You, that, I'd like to know some more. I'm like, geez, you bad bad eyesight as well. But well, you could just just call the stream. Just ask Jim. Yeah, just ask you. <laughs> okay, I'll do my best to answer. That's for sure. I'll, yeah, I'll, so I'll the, the whole point of it is, um, I for him to be able to ask us questions, but for us to meet him, like you guys to meet him, um, we, we were up to Zoom at 2 o'clock this morning. So Okay. Know. Yeah, if you guys yeah. want to start earlier, that's okay with me. I, I've, I've got... Uh, I've got you, uh, Jason, your uh, your channel on uh, notifications uh, all the time. So when it, whatever you do that pops up, it'll I'll I'll, I'll get the heads up for. So that's that's so not this, a this one this one and Aussie Scar Modeler. Yes, sir. Excellent. Hey, man. Um, well, five seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly, Aussie Scale Modeler, yeah. and then through that, your Spitfire yeah, Aussie Aussie comes up yeah. on my notifications. So yeah, I'm ready anytime. So yeah, that, that's awesome. gonna be fine. What time is it there anyway? I, I I know Peter is twelve hours ahead of me in in Thailand. Where, where, where uh, how far are you guys ahead? Almost quarter past five for me. Quarter past five. Quarter past five. Okay. Bill just quarter past five, mate. Not quarter past four. He said five. I thought he said four. But he's off off his chops. Seventeen. 12 to be precise. Oh, wow. Okay, so you guys are 15 hours uh, ahead of me. It's, um, it's 10 after, 12 after 2 a.m. here. Yeah, Australia's always been ahead of America. Dude. I agree. <laughs> I agree. I, uh, <laughs> so, oh, this uh, all right, hold on. So I'm going to give the camera a tilt, and you guys can see what I get on my, on my model. Wow, nice, nice doggies. Nice dog. Awesome. I'm, I'm a sucker for a for a dog. Okay, hold on, uh, mate. Did, did you watch this was guy on YouTube? Uh, he's just come over to. He's just got to Sydney or whatever. He's been there a few days. He's um, yeah, African American. Yeah. He's like, why can't America learn from Australia? I uh, I asked the same question myself uh, when I'm in on chats from Australia and from the UK. Uh, uh, when it comes to a lot of uh, things about regarding the uh, way of life in America as opposed to, well, you don't have to worry about going to the shopping mall and having some guy loose an AR-15 at you because he's angry at the world. Um, you know, that's, uh, you know, you, you, you guys may remember one or two events that will you'll never forget and everybody got together and decided to do something about it. Here in America, I can't, I can't tell you how many times I've heard Mass shooting, mass shooting, one after another on on, on the uh, on either the, the radio or, or the television, and it, it, it it's it's almost like uh, it's almost like the weather, you know what what's going to happen today. So you know, I, th th that's one of the things I, I I definitely admire about both the UK and and Australia is you you guys got well, together you, on that stuff and put a clamp. To, we clamp we do have a standing joke in Australia. What's the shortcut to put, uh, Hobart? Shoot through Port Arthur. <laughs> Port Arthur, Port Arthur. No, wait a minute. The Big one, the Port Arthur I'm thinking of is the one up in uh, in China. Is is uh, no, in Tasmania? There, there was a mass oh. uh, a mass shooting in Port Arthur in Tasmania, and that's that's probably our one big 
like event. Yeah. Oh, Mill like, you're, you're so oh, yes. used to it, but for that us, a it's a big shocking event. Well, you see, in 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 in, uh, in, in here in the states, um, the the root of it is a lot of things, but one of them is, uh, from my observation of being here, is that there's no relationship or community, or I should say any kind of working relationship between community, police, and government. Everything's divided. Everything's, everybody's got an opinion or offended about this, that, or the other thing. So there's no unity. When it comes to something like what I just mentioned, it's like, well, you know, what are you going to do? You know, and then you just shrug your shoulders and keep move on until the next time it happens. And then the outrage comes and then there's call for gun laws. Another thing is, you know, uh, a few months back, uh, Jason, you showed some uh, 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 photos of you on a motorbike and you had a helmet on. And I mentioned that and uh, you said helmet laws are nationwide there in Australia. Here in the States, it's uh, helmet laws are state by state. And where yeah. I'm at, in Illinois, there is no helmet law. So in, a, in it seems like here in the States, it's, it, it's such a desire for individual freedoms that the collective, as far as like rule of law and working together on, on making, you know, learning from our errors and, and, and making life a little bit better for the community at large, is just not there. Everybody's just too concerned about their own worries and their own wants. And they're going to scream at the top of their voices to get to be heard. It's it's. It, toys I, out of the car. I, I'm thinking the world must shake their head at us, us stupid Americans. Say, what the hell's going on over there? I, 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 I don't know. But I, that's what I like about places like Australia and 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 the UK. You guys had your moments. You got together and said, no more of this. And you know, I'm looking at it from the outside of the foreigner. I don't know all the details of, of it, but you know, to me, it just seems like uh, um, you know, there's a little bit more observance for. Um, community and and how the how every everyone exists together in uh, in your nation so um yeah I, I i'm sorry I'm pretty much. Too much. and sorry. i can't speak for the nation mate but i oh, know the boys might back me up we're not good with idiots <laughs> well then you got a lot of them here in america yeah, yeah but we <laughs> will we'll say we hey tend to, like buff will back me up as well on this we tend to tell it how it is and excuse the language but i'm going to drop it if you're a fuckwit, we'll tell you. Okay, that's fair enough. Yeah, yeah. But we'll, we will say it in the nicest possible way. Yeah, you are a fuckwit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah bump it around the bush. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, no, that's terrible. exactly right. There's we're, nobody here, and it's getting a little bit off, off bad, but yeah. um, nobody here is backward and coming forward. If you want to be an idiot, a dickhead, whatever. I say, mate, you're a dickhead. What are you doing? And they pull your head in. And that person will either tell you to piss off or they'll say, yeah, no, nah, mate, you're good and I'll sort myself out. Mm. We don't go, oh, no. Oh, yeah. Well, well so, yeah. Yeah, yeah. we're from the school where if you've got a problem, you go out the back of the woodshed, you sort it out, you shake hands, it's done and Watch done. Watch yeah, well, what we might have here in America is you go out and fight, and then the other guy comes back with his weapon and goes to look, looking to even the score. It's like it's like um, it's like two guys who fight in a in a sporting match. You know, they maybe get their they maybe exhaust their frustration out right there, and then, like you said, shake hands and everything's over. You step outside the stripes, and it's back to everyday life. Some people just want to go looking to even the score and have that last uh, say of whatever it may be, and. Um, I don't know. I'm sorry. I I I, I got, no, I got right. wandering no, off the topic. We're talking about models and models. No, that, that's understandable. Oh, wait, wait, models are everything. beautiful things. That's the thing. Uh, that's what this channel's about. That that's the civilian world too. See, like Buff will back me up on this too. When it comes to the military side of things, you guys were there for us when it come down to the crunch in the late forties. Hey, but you got a lot of a shot in the sixties. <laughs> yeah, but we we were still we were still honouring our you know you helped us we'll help you. Yeah, but that's and that's how it is. That, that's how it is down here. You help them. You out. help me. I'll help you. Well, I'll Maybe. tell you what. Um, General MacArthur was no fan of uh, of the Australian he's, Army or the effort they made. Um, he's a wanker, that bloke. He's yeah. dead set. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm 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 no fan. I'm I'm no fan of MacArthur and 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 his history of relations with with anybody but himself. You know, I, I mean, mean he, he he would be a great politician in modern day America because he's completely above self reflection and introspection. He has just absolutely no understanding of he of of the of the phrase I messed up. I'm sorry. Just not it it it, it wasn't in his vocabulary. I mean, anyone that's gonna tell his commander in chief, no, I'm going to go ahead and keep running my operations as I see it as a military officer and screw you, you know, and, and, and piss up the chain of command. You know, he's, he, you know, he's a guy that's got to re be replaced. So, um, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Jason. You know, mate, Joe Biden would be good at self reflection if he could just remember who his name was. I'll tell you, this, this, this you know, I'm, 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 I'm pretty apolitical. When it comes to um, you know being involved in mess in the mess, in fact, it, it it depresses me the more I look at it. You just turn on any any political program here in the states, and it's 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 not it's not debate, it's not discussion, it's anger at the top of your voice, and it's just noise. You know, one guy said that right. It's just noise, noise, noise. Anyway, get back to what I was saying. Um, shit, I forgot what I was saying. I don't know. <laughs> You're right, political. It, it doesn't yep. matter because. Thank you, Jason. Thank when, you. Yes, to, to, know, I, to know an Australian. Yes, sir. To know an Australian is to know roughly where we come from, and that is like even Paul. Paulie, will tell you right now, he his family goes back to the first fleet. Yeah, we didn't come we here by were choice. Literally dumped here and left to fend for ourselves. So we learnt to stand on our own two feet and fight for ourselves. So, oh yeah, right. I mean, yeah. Well, you, you right. mean the beginnings of Australia, yeah, it was uh, there was a, a penal colony, right? Is that is that That's what right. yep. and I yep. always refer to it as the penis colony? Yeah, well, you are the cup of Australia. I think, I think we had this talk last time. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, um, so what is on your bench at the moment, mate? Okay, hold on one moment. I'm going to give the camera to us because all um, I, I I have no sophisticated cameras or anything like You're that. Right, I'm, I'm You're right. right through my. Oh, do I? Oh, do I, Jim? You're right. Go for it. And we got on. I'm going to either leave you mob in charge because at five to five, five to six, I'm out of here. That's only a football game. <laughs> there's breathing and there's Parramatta. <laughs> There you go. Maybe the box cover shall help you. There, there it is. That's oh, that's it. nice. Yeah, that, that's that's a that's an old Hasegawa uh, Maki C two hundred two Fulgori. I bought yeah, it very nice. for ten bucks, and uh, I'm, um, I'm I'm in the midst of building this uh, because I'm trying to clear this before I get what I'm going to start next, and I'll be right back. I'll, hold, I'll I'll show you the box cover. Give me give me a moment, please. Yeah, you're right, mate. You're right, so. Wombat, you legend. Yeah. Out of what, have you any idea what you're going to build car-wise? Um, Come on. I'm I'm tossing up. I've got three Nissan, Nissan Skyline GTRs that I want to do yeah. up as um, the Nissan, Australian Nissans from the uh, supercars or what, yeah, the Group C before that. Yeah. But I've also got a Subaru Impreza, uh, a WRC, and a Mitsubishi Lancer 5 WRC that I want to do up in... I've got Winfield decals and do them up in the Winfield liveries. So it might be one of those two. Right, so... I'm leaning towards the Scooby. Did I set you that Scooby paint, didn't I? Uh, no. Right, so I've that been you... Three paper eight? or four paper? So that's the one I'm looking at doing. What is that one? That's the uh, 98, but I'll be doing it up. Uh, let me Give me a sec. I'll just grab the decals. Oh, wait up, wait up. Here we go. Paulie's going to drag something off the shelf. Oh, Gilly's back. Oh, hey. Hello, Welcome to Alcoholics Anonymous. <laughs> Leave me alone. Nothing, anon <laughs> Nothing anonymous about us. Nah, but did you want some WRC blue? 
Um, yeah, I do. Uh, I've got because I've got another one there that I want to actually do in the W uh, the Scooby colours. But this one, I'm actually going to do as the uh, Winfield livery. Oh, very good. So yeah, I nice. might actually send you through a code, Jay. So I don't know whether you've got something that might match the Winfield. Yeah, I can make it. Cool. I, I think I've tracked down the colour. So. Um, cool. What's that, oh. Paulie? That's the Scooby. Is that die cast? No. No. What did you That's paint your that with? <laughs> Outlaw. It's fucking awesome, isn't it? Yeah, and painted this one with Outlaw. You, you got to put them up close, mate. You're so far away from that camera. Oh, look at the tension build. <laughs> Woo! Got the slow zoom go. happening. Oh, yeah. look at him go. Yeah, he zoomed in too one? far. Oh, God, technology. God. <laughs> yeah, a little bit more, a little bit. Yeah, whoa, 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 whoa. Perfect. You got it. Perfect framing. Yeah. That's out, Law. Is that a three papery or a four papery Scooby? That's outlaw. Uh, everything else is outlaw. Well, Gilly, I was on and um, Bill, I was on uh, Got Gills or whatever. Yep. And um, Bill, Gil, Gilly's gone. They had the Where bottles running. Yeah, um, that's because I just ran aground. Yeah, was it Got Fuels or what was it? Yeah, Got Fuel Brian and Got Fuels Models. Yeah, so I I got on there and just talking, they're, they're going nuts for that. They, as soon as it hits um, high altitude, good God, he'll be out of it. And yeah, you've got to start making the next order now. Well, that, that's, I think, what's got to happen. It's yeah, and I had um, Hobby's Warehouse, I think, uh, model model warehouse or whatever model's warehouse in Queensland. I'm sitting on the lounge, yeah. oh, just wondering how I go to become a distributor, a retailer. Went. Okay. Oh, by the way, speaking about that, Jason, I did go to uh, uh, what's his name, Rob, the man in Arkansas. You Ed, for, um, your um. Uh, you, you and Icky Sticky's uh, U.S. Uh, outlet. Yep. Yeah, nice stuff. You know, I checked out his shipment. He got the samples of the paint you gave him and the stuff yep. that Sticky sent him. And, yeah, there's a lot of good things there. I, I like the variety of the glues and all the tools and everything. So I'm definitely going to give his uh, give his uh, inventory a look-see once he gets everything established. Well, he's, he's got all the Icky Sticky stuff, so I'd get hold of that now because he can do the pre-order on it for you. Right, right. Yes. Um, and he's got to get a few pre-orders um, by the end of the month for mine. So, yeah, he'll be... Okay. Ed, if, you could, if you could do a pre-order with him now, because he's got it all up in the... I, at the end of this month, I'll be making it and shipping it over. Ah, okay. Okay. But I need, as I told him, I need weekly count of what colours so I know what has to be made and boxed. Okay. All yeah, right. Yeah. Like I said, it's it's great to have a, a U.S. distributor for that. Uh, um, uh, saves it saves a lot of money on the post, for <coughs> sure. And, oh, and yeah. time. You know. Speaking of which, I got my uh, next project coming up. Oh, good. And this Gilly. is it. Oh, the four F fourteen. Yep. Yep. This is the one with the carrier deck. They give you the Ooh. launch. Set and everything. Let's see if I can get it in the picture right. Yeah, yeah another kit. Yeah, that's. that's I'm sorry. Forty-eight or seventy-seven? Oh, yes, sir. Forty-eight scale. Yes, sir. Um, it's. Uh, I got this from uh, the Models for Heroes uh, auction uh, during their forty-eight forty-eight weekend, and um, it was in the American auction group. And boy, I tell you, we know how to spend money here. 
I, uh, I, 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 I was obsessed about getting that model, and I just kept one up in this. It, it wound up between me and one other man, and I pushed the number to a limit, and I was expecting him to go one more. If, if he had bid just one more dollar more than me, I would have just said, okay, yours, sell yours, yeah. friends. But he didn't, so I was like, okay, it's mine. And I, I, I love it. I, 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 I just got it Wednesday, and I took a look through it. And uh, yeah, I uh, one, I love the Tomcat. It's one of my favorite jets. And second, it's a beautiful model. It's a state of the art to me. So for me, I can't go wrong with that. That's a, that's a, that's a good combination. So yeah, after I finish the Italian plane, I'm working on the Maki. I'm going to start on this, and because uh, it's yeah, be you going to start a car as well, man. Well, that's what I was asking. A car. Now, could it be a military vehicle or does it have to be civilian? Civilian. Okay. All right. Then I'll have to go out and find myself a model. I have, I am, uh, oh, no, wait. I know. Hold on. I know. I've, I've got, I've got a couple of old Tamiya kits hanging around. Where are they? Get them out. Go get them. Well, they're buried in my stash. If I was a step away, I think I'd be gone a half an hour. So um, <laughs> we will see you back here in 29. <laughs> <laughs> I was about to say, I'll race you. You go yeah. get your kit, and I'll walk to my shack, and I'll go get the kit I'm going to build. Yeah, mine's in my closet right next to me here, so I'd, I'd have to. I, well, I, uh, I I've got a my... I've got a sixteen hundred meter walk to get my kit and come back. Well, I've I've actually whittled down my stash quite a bit because, um, despite my beautiful youthful looks, I'm going to turn sixty later this year, and you know I only got oh. so many good years when? left. When you're when? only baby. I'm when? sorry. When? What month? August. August the seventeenth is my birthday. Okay. Cool. So, uh, You're only six. Six plus zero equals six. Pardon me. Six <laughs> plus zero equals six. Okay. Well, you know, my doctor years ago told me, "Hey, you know, uh, when I this is when I was turning forty, he said forty is the new thirty, You know, and I was like, "Okay, I'm thirty years, so I guess I'm turning fifty this year." Well, I got told you're only as young as a woman you feel, so I'm under fifty. <laughs> I told you that one, Buff, because my old boy told me that. I like that one. I got to remember that. It's a good one. Yeah. yeah. Get, my, get my face slapped. I say that around here. Yeah, um, see. But the, um, yeah, so we, next, uh, probably about three weeks, and we'll all start this car kit. Um, Paul will probably have built about 10 by then. I'll try and finish off the second Spitfire. Yeah, I'm only doing one. Stop going on. Somebody said, "Oh, you haven't gone too far," and I'm like, "No." <laughs> oh, there it is. I was I was going to ask how you guys are coming along on your on your Spitfires individually, Jason. What are you going to do yours up as? I mean, markings wise. Um, I am. Where am I? I am. That's all masked up on the underside. Right, right. Looks good. Looks good. Is that camo um, freehand, or did you uh, do it with uh, like a blue tack or something like that to divide the yeah. color? Worms. Blue tack? Worms. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Oh, that's what you meant by worms. <laughs> yeah. I'm, on the, I'm doing the mark. Wow. Beautiful. Look at that. Now that mark looks nice. Top. And all, um, all of them are Australian. I love that. There's not enough. For me, when I look at modeling com the community worldwide, which I can now, and it really, really is fun. Look where I'm at. Anyway, get back to my point. Not enough Australian marking equipment whether whether it's your own stuff like a wear away or a boomerang or a fighter or a spitfire not enough stuff in australia markings so pretty much you're, you're 90 doing, percent okay. of yeah, my kids on the box cover beautiful i i love that one that's the one i want to make yeah love that pretty much 90 percent of my model kit my military model kits i build uh adf yeah, I'm the oh, same builder too. They're going to be Aussie there. or Kiwi. Yeah. Okay. So, All right. Yeah. Well, I've no, got the, in the UK, I've got, got um, a um. Oh, can't even think of it. A PBY. I've got uh, a Grumman Growler. Uh, I've got a Black Hawk. I've in the in the stash. I've got an F. Uh, a Phantom, an F-111. Both the Phantom and the F-111 are 132, so I'm yet to build them. So wow. once I get out of these 148, I'm moving into 132s. 
Excuse me, so you said a thirty-second scale F one hundred and eleven. Are, are you gonna Are you gonna get another shed for that uh, when it's done? Because uh, it's gonna be a big bird, Bill. Yeah, damn oh, right it is. Right, oh, look, and, and oh, the dude. Phantom's gonna be a big bird. Oh yeah, you yeah. he's back. Oh, uh, nice, nice look at the stash. Some, uh, I love those Spitfires, by the way. They were they were awesome. Of course, <laughs> oh. it was. Oh, holy <laughs> Scott Museum. I'll, I'll be right back. I'm I'm gonna grab mine. I'll be right back. It's an old Edward kit. What are you up to, mate? You doing? You burning the midnight oil, Gilly? All right, bugger it, Buff. I'm going to go 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 grab the VC. I'll run as fast as I can. Gilly, you there? Ah, uh, Mark Eight. Ah, uh, very nice. Yep, it's the uh, it's the. Uh, um, Great, nice. great, great, yes. Now, now, let, let me ask you a question. I've seen so many Spitfires with the term with the name Gray Nurse on. Was that some standard um, uh, name or character or something like that that the Aussies used on their airplanes? Because I've seen a lot of Spitfires with different code letters on the fuselage painted up with the name Gray Nurse on the on on the, on the nose. Is that was that something common or was that it was uh, a whole squadron? Ah, yeah. okay, okay. Yeah, and the grey nurse is, is a, a, a shark in Australia. Right. right yeah. The, yes. The right. Then yeah. The nurse shark. The the grey nurse is an Australian species. Okay. Yeah. This. But I don't know why they use grey nurse because the grey nurse isn't really a man eater. Like you get, might get a nibble, but they're not prone to chomp you now. Oh well, uh, that's okay. Uh, you know, I mean, um, maybe maybe because it's uh, great. Right. Airplane gray up on top, gray on the bottom, with a little green in there. You know, it's got that European camouflage pattern on it. But this, uh, we're, we're going to paint a white nose on him, Jason. Yeah, yeah. This, a, this one's a beauty. It's this is. Um, I've got another uh, Spitfire that I'm going to do in Australian markings. It's it's an even older kit. It's uh, it's um, it's that brand that I was my, my I showed you my Messerschmitt that I just finished last week. Um, yeah. Get that one out too, but uh, the brand Otaki. I mean, that could, those that's an old Japanese company from the 70s, and I have all their I have most of their kits that they produced in the mid 70s, all, all a, a whole fighter series. And one of them's a Spitfire Mark 8. I fell in love with that when I was a kid because of the, the pointed rudder. That's my favorite. This is my favorite Spitfire variant right there. I could build Mark 8s and Mark 9s all day. I could just have Spitfires flying around in my dreams all night. I don't care which one they are. <laughs> well, you That's know what? With, um, with Qatari making those early uh, Spitfires, the, the newest one they're doing is, is the, uh, the the early Mark one with the flat canopy. Um, that's really got my interest perked on building older, or early early version Spitfires. Because uh, they, they got those crazy underside markings for air observation of the black port wing, white starboard wing with sky or aluminum the rest of it yeah, that, very that very friendly five stuff. that's the oh, attacky that, mark eight yeah there you go yep yep there it is an oldie but a goodie i'll tell you what i i the, 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 those kits I, I i like making those old models i really do and i and and i bought i bought them so many years ago and i'm determined to build them so i'm gonna i'm gonna i'm i'm, I'm definitely gonna uh, work on that one uh sometime soon but Hey, there's home, how many things I can tell you I'm working on sometime soon. Yeah. So. Have a look at Bilger's, Bilger's um, paint rack. It's just all outlaw. It's just a big cow over it all. <laughs> yeah, well, I tell you what, I, I can't I can't sing the praises enough about outlaw paint. I mean, it didn't take me long to realize how good that stuff is. So it's uh, it's it's great stuff, Jason. Um, and go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, Wayne, Wayne's got to build shelves for his soon. Um, yeah, hang on. I'll give you a quick demo of uh, what my paint rack looks like. Hang on, I'll just switch camera. And Paul's got to do his. <laughs> so at the moment, there's Outlaw there, Outlaw there, and then more Outlaw over there. Yeah, you got a hundred and whatever model. 113, I think it is. Very and nice. There's still a more in the two, Jay, so. <laughs> Very nice. Very nice. Look, uh, that's uh, that's great paint. I mean, you talk about 
pour it in the airbrush and spray it. That's what it is. You know, very low maintenance, very easy to, um, to uh, just, just put it in, paint it, and move on. It's great stuff. Low great. maintenance, high quality. Yeah, exactly. Oh, it's, it's tough as nails, too. I mean, uh, when I painted my P40 with that, uh, um, I, I, uh, I, I, pray, I painted a sample of, your, of, of that color, your olive drab. I painted it on some sheet plastic, and I gave it the tape test. You know, get some new tape, put it on it, give it the peel. And it's it's rough. It's tough. It's good stuff. I love it. You know, it's 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 what painting should be, which is simple, straightforward, so you can move on to something else. Yep. All right. I'm more sense, guys. Where, where's your kid? Oh, you're gonna do it, are you? Yeah, I got that one. So what are you going to do, Paul? Uh, Peugeot. The 206 WRC. Yeah, we agreed on that. And Wombat, we agreed with you doing what? I'll do that uh, 98 Subaru. All right, uh, what are you going to do, Gilly? You going to do a car? <laughs> yep, okay. Take that we as a can't no hear you. You're not speaking, Gilly. No noise. No. No noise. Ah. Uh. So yeah, we've got I've got fourteen minutes to go because it as we all know the eels are playing. Well, I'll give you a sneak peek because there's only been a few photos circulating of the uh, hobby barn tribute bill, which is this. Oh nice. The fifty six impala? Del Rey. Oh, okay. Looks beautiful. And, oh, and James is going to do a Mark Paul Supra. That that's the front end. But the bit that I've been concentrating on at the moment is sorry, Bill. I'm just watching Wombat as well, and he just amazes me how he he just. What do you tick everything off when you go for a shit as well, Wombat? Yeah. <laughs> Looks nice. Looks nice. What 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 kid is that? It is a crappy Ravel. That's the jewel kid. Chevrolet Del Rey. Okay, yeah. And, and, um, I'm guessing that mold goes back probably to the seventies or so. My my brother, my brother was a big uh auto uh automobile, you know, trucks and cars uh, uh model builder. When, he, when we were kids, we're talking 50, 50 plus years ago, he was a master of the spray can. He could take a, he could, you know, we didn't have airbrushes back. We, we were yeah. too young for him. Anyway, he could take uh, one of those old Revel kits and he could make the thing look like it was painted by an auto painter. He just, he just had a gift for that. So those yeah, old. I, I, I went from brush freighting to what we, what we call down here is pressure pack or you call them a spray can. Yeah. I spent a week on this engine bay just trying to get this fragging radiator support panel right. And I'm yeah, I'm kind of the point where I'm like, bugger it, I'm just gonna shoot it and we'll put some color on it and get this thing buttoned up. Yeah, I mean those old kits are pretty basic, and 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 you know the the older those molds get, the the rougher they're going to look when when you go to like a Hobby Lobby or or a, you know big retail hobby shop and get a new copy of it because they're they're still pumping out copies of stuff that I was like I said I saw on hobby shelves here in America when I was a kid, you know when I was eight nine years old they were they were new then. So what yeah, was well, it like in the twenties? <laughs> 
Well, everything was black and white. I mean, like I tell people, <laughs> like you I tell people, black and white in your car. <laughs> yep, yep. What, like I tell people, I, I tell them, I said, hey, kid, when I was when, when I was your age, rainbows were black and white. So don't 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 talk to me about the old days. I got you. I tell my kids, I say, yeah, I said, oh, look, when I built my first pyramid. <laughs> <laughs> My my first my first color TV was green. Yeah, uh, we went from black and white to a green TV because all the other colors were fragged out on it. Yeah, to get the hand downs. Yeah. But yeah. this firewall, the firewall I've actually got in this body is supposed to be mounted to the interior tub. Okay. I don't like doing that because I want to shoot my engine bay all in one. Ah, all so right. That was a part of the reason why it took me a whole entire week of dry fitting, lining shit up, and you know. Yeah. No, yeah. I'm changing my mind, boys. Yeah. I'm changing my mind. Oh, here we go. You're gonna do the Firebird. Oh, the old uh, Racer X. Oh no, I'm sorry, uh, Mach Five. Mach Five. Yes. Mach Five. Yep. I can't. I can't tell you how many afternoons I ran home from school to watch Speed Racer in the early '70s. I still no, know. That I still know the lyrics of the theme, so it's it's that's that would that would that would be racer. Go speed racer. Go speed racer. Yep. Yeah, don't uh, uh, don't so I'm the only one here gonna be doing a real car then. Followed by na 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 banana splits. Oh my god. Yeah, you know, just tonight I was on YouTube. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I came across a whole bunch of cartoons I remember watching when I was a kid, all the superhero stuff, these old 1960s Marvel comic uh, what television about cartoons. Race? What about Danger Mouse and oh, Roger Ramjet and Mr. Magoo? Well, Mr. Magoo, I remember that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Danger no, Mouse. So. Wasn't Danger Mouse British? Was that a yes. British yes. cartoon? Yep. Yeah, I didn't see too much of that until I was like in my 20s and in, in, in the 80s. I, I didn't see it when I was a kid because... Um, we didn't. The, the, only, the only British or foreign television I got to watch was on my local PBS station, Public Broadcasting, and they would show old British programs like uh, Monty Python, The Prisoner, Doctor Who, um, Dave Allen at Large, The Goodies, yes. Two oh, Monty, oh, the Goonies, you know, all that the stuff. Goonies, you know. stop the Goonies. Goonies. Yep. Oh, no. yep, and. Um, so when I was, you know, when I was going to grammar school the next day, all, 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 all we'd be talking about is like, did you see that part in the Monty Python yesterday where you saw the girl's uh, boobies? So that, that was all big stuff to us when we were nine, ten years old. My mom didn't want me watching that. That was on hey, late Sunday nights. I'd, I'd, I'd stay up uh, past my bedtime to see it. Check the hmm. rack on that. That's what you're doing. <laughs> There's some lovely muck down here. But, so anyway, yeah, um, that's that's my choice, boys. I'm gonna do the Mark Five. So and, um, um, so I, I like I said, I've I've got a couple of Tamiya kits. Um, uh, are you guys gonna be on next week, same time? I'll 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 have them ready to uh, display by then. Um, no, we're, no, going we're, early. Do, we're doing early next week. Right, right, early next week. That's fine. That's fine. That yeah, like I said, that'll help me out. That's that's great. I appreciate it. Yeah. So, but, hold on a second. I'm, I'm, I'm going I'm to give you a little spin on my other workbench. I'll be right. Uh, I, I, just just follow me as I give you like a magical mystery tour. Oh. Hopefully, Seven minutes hopefully, the light, hopefully the light will show what I'm doing. Can you guys see that clearly? We can. Yeah, that's that's my... Uh, there it is. Tiger Mark 1? Yeah, it's, it's my dragon kit. And, uh, you know, I, I wanted to build one. And man, oh man, no wonder the Germans lost the war. All the freaking, uh, all the freaking wheels and, and and complicated assembly on that thing. It's incredible for the model. I couldn't imagine making them or working on the real thing. Look at that for a Oh, that's nice. What's that? That's a Holden Commodore, mate. Like the Australian Commodore. Holden Commodore. Okay. Yeah, I, I, I gotta look. Yeah, I gotta look up these cars. I'm I'm not too familiar with um, with a lot of um, uh, British and uh, uh, Australian and uh, uh, look at these vehicles. Oh, nice. That, oh, yeah. Hey, that 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 I just to say, um, I just wanted to mention that I've been watching your your friend, the slot car guy. He's yep. uh, 
He's got he's got a incredible collection. What a what what um, an variety of Jack, scale. Didn't he make those um, diecast matchbox cars for you? Yeah, these have been these these are Hot Wheels cars that were shaved down and changed into that model. Nice, nice. That looks great. That is really cool. I like that. That's a Holden Commodore. But yeah. yeah. No. These are the, no. That's I'm just comedy. saying these are Belgian, not Belgian. No, no, these old girls. Yeah, this yeah. one and the one that I own in my shed parked right in there, they're real Commodores. Gilly, uh, Commodore, uh, Paulie, Paulie's Commodore is nice. Hello. But How's it going? Can you hear me now? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got you, got you, Gilly. Yeah. Okay, sorry about that. I have to go to my back to my phone here. Oh, good, bye. Oh, good. Five minutes, you, know. hey, you guys are just yes. going to have to get my Commodore is powered by a chef. What's that? My Commodore is powered by a chef. That's what Bill just going on about. Mm. <laughs> now, um, is Commodore um, uh, the name of the car or the name of the manufacturer that makes the car? The name of the car. Okay. The name of the car. Okay. It is shit all over your yank tanks. I'm They're sure still well. built by General Motors, but it's what we, we call it down here is GMH, which is General Motors Holden. Okay. Okay. So they're yeah, still, they're still, they're still basically a Chev, but they're just the, the, the Australian better version of the Chev. Yeah, it goes, <laughs> turns both directions. Yeah. <laughs> and, and it's not 20 foot wide. Yeah, well, you know, you, um, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's funny, and you know, in, in, in the 50s and 60s and, in, and into the mid-70s in, here in, the, in America with how big can you build it? And then after the gas crisis in, the, in 73, 74, when OPEC, you know, put the, put the vice to the, to the nuts of America, I remember being with my dad waiting in line to get gas with his, with his, his big station wagon. And uh, after that, everything shrunk down. The late seventies, he had all kinds of little small cars. They went economic. They were they were trying to they were trying to uh, the EPA clamped down and, and required more um, more uh, environmentally controlled uh, you know emissions control stuff on engines. It was a disaster. There were some terrible terrible designs in the late seventies, just awful things. And then now, after the turn of the century, now everyone's driving hum Humvees. And big, big, big trucks. Yeah. And I tell you what, some of those things look so big. I'm, I'm guessing they have their own fuel tanks in the back that they can just run off of. Uh, you know, it's yeah, like that's just, that's just that's the yeah, it's like gallons per mile, not miles per gallon. So. Oh, don't worry. Uh, a mate of mine, he had an old that model VC Commodore. It had a fully worked, blueprinted 351 in it. The, oh, it literally cool. took a bloody 20 litre drum to start the damn thing. But uh, holy shit, did it go. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those, uh, those, those, uh, those mid-size eights, uh, uh, you know, I, I just uh, recently, um, my sister uh, just recently sold my late brother's car. It was a 71 Dodge Challenger, and it had a 340 cubic inch block. I don't know what that is in, in terms of. Um, of uh, it was a 354 shed. Yeah, it was. Um, I mean, I I think it'd be a five liter. Five point six. Yeah, yeah. Right. Six, yeah. And that little engine, it was it, it was all factory, and, and and this thing was was a beast. I mean, it was it was so powerful. And she had me drive it one time, and I was like, no, 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 man. I I, I you know, it was it was it was like it was such a beautiful car. We had, we, we sold it because she couldn't afford the cost of it anymore. But it was all mint, and. Um, oh. It's it's a lot of money to, to maintain those old cars. You got to be ready to, uh, you know, have have time to uh, repair and them, money please, to repair them, and place don't tell them. Me it was numbers matching. Uh, numbers don't matching. Tell me Can you help me with it? Engine in it. Uh, yes, it did. Yes, it did. It was all original. The car was totally mint. It was um, it was a it was bought out of the out of the. It had to. In fact, the guy my brother bought it from, who was his his best friend. 
it still had the original um, dealership sticker that was he had it he had it removed from the side window and he had it in the uh, folder where the title and all the uh, official you know legal documents were were, were somebody paid. sitting on a gold mine. Well, not anymore. We sold it. We we my my sister had to sell it. Yeah, she but whoever brought it sitting on a gold mine. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, anyway, you got, pictures. Love is all. You got the factory. If you got the factory builders ticket with it, that's a Commodore there. Oh. Yeah. Okay, there you go. That's a nice car. Yeah, it is. It's holding. Um, yeah. guys, it's five minutes to game time. This is my religion. You all know that. Go the mighty eels. Yeah. Um, you are all awesome. I'll catch you next week. I'll send out all the the uh, links. And take care. And I'll let you guys run as long as you want because you're all adults. So um, take care, boys and girls. If you need it, keep your mouth shut. My number. <laughs> um, be good. Thanks for all for yeah. watching and take care. I'll try, buff. Me too. Later, all. Be be. See you, Jason. Okay. Next one. All right, Next Paulie, you're in charge. Right, I gotta go cook dinner for mum. Oh, you what? All right. Someone's got a feeder. Okay. Yeah, that's uh, the, the party begin. All right, we'll put one bat in charge then. Yeah, one well, bat uh, in charge. That's scary, Bill. Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you next time. Take care. All right. Later, Paulie. Later, Bob. Now there's just us four, or I should say ah. three, three Aussies and an American. I'm a Canadian. <laughs> no, nah, you you cannot. Yeah, you forgot the Canuck. Oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. Where so where can't... are you? Saskatchewan. Oh, Saskatchewan. Okay, okay. All right, all right. Um, I'm surprised you said it right. <laughs> um, wait a minute. I'm trying. I'm trying to remember. You you you're in between Alberta and Manitoba. Manitoba, correct. Right, right. Yeah. I, I know that because when I was a kid, all we watched was uh, Chicago Blackhawks hockey. And so back then, all the great teams were in Canada. So we were always watching, you know, the, the Hawks playing in, in places like uh, Montreal and uh, and Toronto. And, uh, and then along came Edmonton and Calgary and Vancouver and Winnipeg. So that's, that's, I, I, that's how I got to know the map of Canada, at least as far as I can tell. So nice. Uh, there's uh, there, there's there's not enough there's not enough uh, pro hockey teams in Canada. That's 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 their sport, and um, and it's gone corporate. So right. they're they're opening up in places like Tampa Bay and and uh, and Columbus, Ohio. Those aren't hockey cities. No. It's a shame you don't have the you you need, you need an NHL franchise in Quebec. You got to have that. Um, you got to have we that. Had one. We had right. one. Right. Quebec right. had one. Right. They screwed themselves though. Yeah. Well, you know, you, 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 I, I don't know what's going on in Canada, but in America, what's happening is that um, a lot of pro teams are turning toward their communities and saying, look, if you want us to stay, we need X amount of millions of dollars from you to finance our stadium. And a lot of communities are saying no. There, there's a hot topic going on here in Chicago about uh, financing a new football stadium for our football team. And it's going on across the across the nation. Communities are just saying, "No, you guys are, are rich billionaire owners. Build your own stadium." So there's there there's a lot of uh, tug of war about that because um, people are attached to their franchises, but if they don't if they're not financed, they'll move to another city. That's what happened with the Nordiques, and it happened with the Expos. Well, exactly same thing. That's what I was just going to say. Yeah, happened yeah. with the Nordiques. Happened with the Expos. And yep. that same province is trying to do the same thing with the Montreal Canadiens. And the Jets. The Jets wound the up. Jet, the um, Jets are safe. Nobody's yeah, touching they, the they Jets. Became, um, what happened? They, they became the Phoenix Coyotes or something like that. I, 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 well, were they the yeah, team that moved yeah. down there? I think they Yeah. Well, uh, and, then, and then the Winnipeg Jets later. Yeah. Yeah. They came back yeah. as the Jets and they're never leaving again. Well, I hope I hope not because that, 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 that was a bunch of BS, but. 
Well, you know what it is. It's all about the dollar. You get you get an owner that that that, that has someone flash enough cash in front of their face, and they'll move them to uh, they'll move them to Nome, Alaska. But that was the thing. That was a uh, it was a millionaire that took over them when we were dropping, and then that guy decided, well, no, nope, you guys don't want it. You guys don't deserve them. I'm going to sell them. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, that's um, that's pretty much how it goes most places. Um, um, and where is that millionaire now? He doesn't live in Canada. Well, you know, some of these guys they get they wind up getting uh, <laughs> exposed as frauds. They they want they, well, they, yeah. they wind up having um, uh, faulty uh, sources of income, and so they're w- w- once once they're called on their loans or or whatever the the whole thing uh, uh, folds. Like the guy who um who used to own the Los Angeles Kings, uh, Wayne Gretzky's friend, Bruce McNall. Bruce McNall, yeah, yeah. Yeah, he was the one who engineered that trade uh, to get Gretzky down to uh, L.A., and it was a great thing for hockey until they realized McNall was uh, didn't have the money to back up the franchise. He doesn't have the cash. Yeah, exactly. He was yeah. looking for a backup in along the way. Yeah, yeah. So um, sounds like a lot like capitalism to me. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah. There you go. That's all yep. it is. Exactly. Exactly. So, so what? Maybe that's what, when I stopped watching hockey. I, I I used to watch a lot of it, but uh, since everything's gone towards streaming, mm-hmm. you know, ESPN and other networks offer their product via via internet streaming. Not that I have a problem with that. It's a it's it's not that I'm technology paranoid. It's just that it's so expensive. I mean, uh, you know, a little bit here, a little bit there. Before I know it, my wallet's empty. So I'm not. I, I'll only go so far for pay television. Well, you know how you guys have got your NASCAR, right? Yes. Here we've got what we call V8 supercars, right? Yeah. Which is basically, you know, it was two two teams. You had Commodores and you had Fords. And what it was, it was a factory brought vehicle that you then did it up to race specs. You put it out on the track and you race, right? And it was a huge following. But then the, excuse the French, but the ass fell out of Holden. Ford just went downhill. So now they're bringing in, uh, what? They're bringing in Nissans, bloody Mercedes, uh, what are BMWs, Mustangs, and all this shit. I don't follow it anymore because it's not, it's not the Australian V8 supercars it used to be because the way it used to be was back in the day, the saying was what won the race on Sunday sold on Monday. Yeah. Now, well, that's what NASCAR, finished, yeah. NASCAR was firmly, like firmly settled in the, in the, in domestic cars. And, and there was a big, well, I don't know how big, but I remember when, when uh, Nissan uh, joined um, in other words, they were using Nissan. I think it was Nissan cars. Uh, it, I forget which one it is. See, I'm 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 not I'm not into NASCAR as much as I used to be. <laughs> Excuse me, but um, <clears throat> I know that there that there there are some there, there there's one foreign car now being raced on the NASCAR circuit, and that raised raised a big stink. And now it doesn't matter anymore. So uh, I, again, I think it's the I think it's the corporate dollar. You know, it just it. Every, everything spots it's all it is. It's yeah, all you see, in, in a lot of American racing. I'm talking way back. Yeah. I'm talking way back. Um, it used to be that you had individuals, you know, uh, uh, spo- uh, uh, supporting their own race teams, and and they, yeah. they had some corporate sponsors, but not a whole lot. Now everything is good because it's so expensive. I mean, r- running a race team has got to cost millions of dollars every year. Millions. That's just to get it up to racing. Never mind the cost of racing. Back back in the day when NASCAR wasn't it like Chevy and Ford or oh yeah yeah that that's what I'm saying it, it was Chevy Ford it was GM Ford yeah. and Chrysler that was your yeah. three big you know, yeah, those are the we big only three had, we only Ford. had the two which was yeah. GMH or your your Chevys mm-hmm. and Ford right and that was that was it I mean for a time there they they tried bringing in a few little I mean, there was a few other way, way back because they had different classes 
way back here, there was like Austin's and all that, but the main class A race cars in V8 supercars was your your Holdens or your GMs and your Fords. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. It, it, well, it's, it's, I mean, Chrysler, uh, the, the only thing left of them that's uh, on the race circuit is Dodge. Uh, they used to have, uh, it used to be Chrysler Plymouth was their uh -huh. was their corporate uh, name and Plymouth is long gone now. Our version of the Chrysler was the Valiant. Oh Paul, yeah. Paulie, oh Paulie's not here no more, but the Valiant Charger or the Dodge Charger as you call it, we call yeah. them Valiants. Okay. Oh mate, they used to give the boys a run for their money. They were big cars too, man. Those things are oh yeah. Uh, this, this, yeah, I mean, um, um, my 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 brother had a had an old seventy had a had a seventy three charger, and the nose on that thing was holy moly. It was like it was like it was like what it what it would be like taxing a Spitfire around on on, on on a strip. It's it's all nose. You can't see around it. It's it's incredible. I, I remember driving that thing. And it was wow. But anyway, yeah, yeah. That that's what it used to be. It was, it was all domestic autos, and then. You know the market changed and what was available changed and you know i don't, I don't see complaining about it anymore as far as nascar having, having having a foreign vehicle running on the circuit um i really don't know if that's a big problem or whether people have just accepted it but you know like i said everything is corporate sponsored in, the, in you know everything uh um, i mean for, for the new pups nowadays you know a car's a car but for us, older, older generation that, you know. Yeah, I get it. Like, like where we come from, it's like, it's just not the same no more. You know? Well, when, when I was a kid. You watch the race to see either A or B win, and you either go for A or B, and when old matey either has a, a, a mechanical failure or, you know, screws up in a turn and loses a position, you're like, Yes, get in there, son. Yeah. But yeah. Now it's just like every man and his friggin' dog. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, the you know when when uh, growing up, you know, we called Japanese cars. Now this is a pretty derogatory term, I guess, but we call them rice burners. Hey, we do down here yeah. too. Uh, and and everybody yeah, calls them that. If it's a four banger, it's rice burner. Yeah, yeah, banter, yeah. You know? we, we we always um there, there were bumper stickers uh I, I forget what it was i can't recall but then we, we it was very derogatory toward foreign cars it was it was a very strong american you know uh uh opinion about about driving an american vehicle it was a you know it it, it, it made noise it, 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 an it, buy something uh, foreign you know and then more european cars and then japanese cars showed it was again it was as a result of the gas crisis people were turning toward alternative vehicles to uh to get better gas mileage so they weren't uh, filling their tank every two days and um and then the market kind of took hold where now i mean i i drive a subaru oh. you now i've i've got a what's it called a forester i love it it's a great car it, it's strong yeah. it's reliable it runs well but boy i'll tell you what Someone, you know, buying one of those in the mid seventies, you would have made a lot of noise on your block. People would have seen that and they would say, "What the hell is that?" So, sorry, man. Penny Pit Stop. I, I, I missed you in the comments, but get a. Oh, Penny's Pit Stop. Right, right. I, yeah. I still, got, I still got a visit. I, I just happened to glance down and notice her, and it's just like, oh shit! Yeah. I'm supposed to be doing multiple tasks. I'm well, not there, It's <laughs> interesting. That, you know, I, I, I I've been on. Uh, Two live chats, and both of them are here. And and you know, you, you got the you got the, the the sidebar with the comments in there to your right on the screen. And I can I can I I, I, I maybe take a look at that every 15, 20 minutes, and then I then I look at the names like, oh hey, there's people out there. So yeah. your eyes gotta look both ways. <laughs> no, see I cheat. I've got my tablet that I use for my camera but then i've got my phone that i've got open on youtube with the volume zero with the live chat up but sometimes right. i just get so caught up in conversation that if i don't right yeah 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 that's true 
that is, yeah, you, you get caught up talking about something and you realize you got, you got 20 comments or so that's gone by. Um, did, were you in on, um, were you in on uh, Peter's uh, chat earlier, uh, Oz? No, no, I, I skipped Oz this morning to go hang out with Got Fuels. Okay, yeah, I, I uh, that, 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 he, his, the way he's got his schedule now, he's, like I said, he's 12 hours ahead of me, so if it's 4 o'clock Saturday afternoon for me, it's 4 a.m. Sunday morning for him, but he's been doing it regularly, so I tune in um right before dinner time for me and um yeah he was talking about his uh his newest project that uh, mini art tank he bought the uh oh the lead the, tank yeah free lee yeah looks like a nice model i mean I, I haven't built a mini art kit but it looks like a nice kit um there's a bloke i follow jeff donahue he's built yes. a lot of mini art stuff yes and... jeff is a great modeler i'm following yes. his build right now with that german um that massive truck with the 88 millimeter on the back. Yeah, the truck. Uh, that's a, that's a. That, yeah, I, I like the way he, he does his um he does his uh his uh his his video posts. He does it uh, one or two steps in the drawing in the instructions and goes through that. It's uh, it, it it makes it a lot easier Very to follow. Informative. Yeah, yeah, he's he's a good modeler. I, I I just recently, I mean, I'd seen him on many live chats. His name, and then finally, I I, I tuned into his channel and. Uh, yeah, he, he builds a lot of stuff I like. He builds all those tank transporters and uh, and those neat military. Uh, there's another there's another British builder, Nigel Nigel's model bench. Yep. he does similar work, but it's a bit more for like the the newer modeler, where he'll go into detail on you know how and why he does things and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, I've been following Nigel for oh year or so maybe a little more um yeah it's incredible i mean i i for me you know and uh, the internet's totally opened up the modeling world for me i mean here i am talking to you know canada and australia and, uh, and when i'm in a live chat i'm talking to people all around the world we're talking models before this i it was just me building my kits and you yeah. know they're, they're they are my display case and there's not many people in my immediate circle of friends or community that get the same plastic models that, that, that you can share them with uh, outside of maybe sharing a photograph or two you know over my phone i'll send a I'll send a message or a picture via text to someone but now it's like well you guys just saw a tour of, of some of my work and i'm seeing yours and this is great i mean i love it i'm i'm i, I love hanging out in live chats you just talk shop it's fun as hell i mean yeah. great well it's, it's the same here for me because i'm i'm actually like i'm in a rural setting I'm half an hour from town. So it's not like I can just walk outside and knock on the neighbor's door. That don't happen for me. So it's like for me to share my work, I need this platform. Yeah. 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 And well, just to stay in communication, I'm sure, with some of your friends maybe. right there in Australia. Well, you're basically looking at who I communicate with. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Because, well, you know. I, I tell you what, I, the whole community in my area is, unless you're into RC cars, it's about it. Yeah, yeah, that's uh, you know that that's uh, that that's one thing that's um, it's got a big following is uh, is RC. Um, there's a, it, it's pretty popular here in America too, but it's 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 um, it's the big big scale stuff. Um, mm. the with with uh, you know like like Tamiya. Think about or, or ta uh, Tamia, excuse me. Um, uh, to me, you said it right the first time. I oh, I, I've heard both, so I I, I I try to I try to be uh, I I try I, I I I try to practice both because I I said for years I said Tamia, and then and then I well, heard. That's all right. I'm I'm still waiting for a Yank to be able to say Melbourne properly. Melbourne, is that close? Melbourne. Melbourne. Trust, Melbourne. Trust me, living only an hour from Melbourne. Hearing people mispronounce it just drives me nuts. Well, we, here, here in in uh, uh, my my uh, aunt and uncle moved to a, a community in in Arizona uh, called Prescott. It's spelled P R S P R E S C O T. Right. Well, it's it's pronounced Prescott. Prescott. That's how that's how you say it. Prescott. There you go. The natives say it. Kind of like um. 
Well, I mean, like, like, like I often say to my, uh, the, the, the Englishman I talk to, it's like we are two people separated by a common language. Birmingham, Birmingham. Yeah, Birmingham. Right, Birmingham. exactly. Decals, decals. You know, pick your, pick your word. What bothers me is that I hear this a lot from, from uh, some British modelers is when they go to places like Telford or these big meets where people from all around the world come together, you got these big blowhole Americans telling everyone how to pronounce words. You know, it's like, no, no, no. We say it like this in America, so you should say it. It's like, screw you, buddy. Just, just what does it matter? Just let them say it the way it's supposed to be, you know? In fact, why don't you try and be a little bit more friendly and honor the native custom in the country you're in? How about that? You know, it's, it's like uh, listening to people trying to say Edinburgh. Uh, you know, for, for the longest time, I, I called it Edinburgh until Edinburgh. I heard, right? Until I heard people say Edinburgh, and I, 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 I mess, I, I, I mess it all up. I say Edinburgh. What about I'm, uh, I'm over half Scottish? Yeah. Say, okay. what about so when it comes to the Scott language, I'm bloody good at it. What about? Um, yeah, what, what, what we just say Wor Worcestershire. Yeah, Worcestershire. Worcestershire. Yeah, well, yeah, Worcestershire. yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I get caught up with that saying the R. I, 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 I say the R when I guess I should let that go, right? It's just yeah. Worcestershire instead of Worcester, Worcestershire. Exactly. Yeah. Arkansas. Yeah. Arkansas. <laughs> Pardon me. What, what Arkansas? Is that? Arkansas. Arkansas. Oh right, Arkansas. Right, Arkansas. Arkansas. Yeah, right. Yeah, I, I don't know where that one came from. Is is that uh, is that um, is that a European name, Arkansas, or was that? Because uh, <laughs> when I was a kid and I saw Arkansas on the map in my geography class, I called it Arkansas. Oh my God! Is Crocodile Dundee? <laughs> this is like Bill. We've got the advantage that. In Australia, we grew up with British and American television. As kids. Exactly. So we got both sides, whereas, as you were saying before, with the American, you didn't get as much of the British television, necessarily, and you certainly wouldn't have got very, very much Aussie TV if anything. No, none at all. No, um, it was, uh, it was like I said, what Australian television I saw, I mean, um, pardon me, British television I saw was... Um, you know, and I'm and, and not necessarily when this stuff was new. It wasn't being broadcast brand new to America. It was being broadcast when they could get uh, seasons worth of Dave Allen. Or you, you know, you know what used to puzzle me when I was a kid is that you know we just talk about what how words are pronounced. It's also what words mean. You know, different oh, words my. mean different things. And and Dave Allen, who's an Irishman, would tell these Irish pub jokes, and the crowd would explode in laughter. And me and my friends, we'd be watching. Be like, "What's so funny about that? What? what uh, we didn't get the punchline." So, my friend, one of my friends, his father was born and raised in Ireland. And one time we watched it with him, and he was laughing along with them. And we were still. He was like, "Look, if I get a point at me, I, it, it ruins the joke. So I can't help you out. You just got, you just got to watch it and have fun." So we used to go along. It was like, "Okay, you know." But then we found out, you know, like, uh, words like "bum." You say bum, and the English are just exploding with laughter. Me bum. Oh, did we go out? Okay, there we are. So yeah, I mean it's it's uh, it's it's all in the uh, it's all in what the words mean according to what part of the world you're in. So, I mean, um, um, uh, like in America, it's like I'm gonna kick your ass, and someone says, and in 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 uh, in the UK they might say ass. They're gonna kick my ass. I think it means something else, right? I mean, it would, it, right. It, 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 is it what I'm thinking of? Is that it? That it's a donkey or a burro? No, ass, down here, that you're going to keep your ass. Yeah, yeah. going to punch your freaking lights out. Yeah, yeah, well, that's what it sounds like here in America too. You know, it, it's, uh, the, uh, but I think it. I think it has a different uh, connotation in, uh, donkey. in the UK. Sorry. Uh, what are we watching over there? Is that correct? Looks like a movie, judging by the singlet. Hey, Gilly, are you watching yeah. Crocodile Dundee? Oh, I was yeah. about to say. Looks like it. Oh, okay. All right. I hadn't seen that film in so long. I, 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 I didn't know what I was looking at. 
Yep, that's Crocky Dundee. Hey. Doesn't they look like freaking Well the best hairstyle look... Needy's can offer. Oh don't worry, you still gotta do the baggage check down here sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, okay, guys, I'm going to have to bail. I'll catch you. Oh, well, we might call I'm sorry about that. Because I'm, I'm not going to be the only, the only Anzac left. <laughs> okay, well, we can call it. That's for sure. Okay, guys, that's no problem. It was great uh, yeah, great yeah. hanging with you, though. It was good, good chat time. So thanks a lot for having me. I really appreciate it. Uh, thanks. We'll, hey, good we'll, we'll have more time next week. Yeah, yeah, hard. this no, is no. fun. This this is great. I mean, to get my ugly mug on television, I'm famous here in America. All I got to do is just tell people to go to Aussie Aussie Scale Modeler, and uh, they'll see my bald head on TV. So I've made Aussie it. Aussie Modeler Live. Aussie Modeler Live. Excuse me. Yeah, I'll. I'll yeah. I, I I I told people last week. I said, I, hey, I made my de debut on Australian television a couple of weeks ago. So I'll tell people where they can go to see me, but they won't watch long. So. Anyway, okay, guys. Well, good talking to you. Have a great Sunday. The rest of your Sunday. For me, it's just beginning. So we'll talk next week then. That's all right. I'm going to go to work in a couple of hours. Oh, man. Uh, hey, Bilge, I won't rub it in on two weeks' leave, mate. <laughs> <laughs> Read between the lines. Hey, I'm hoping it means I get some more time at the bench. Hey, that sounds like a good all right, idea. guys. Well, till next time, be okay. good or be good at it. Okay, well, thanks. Thanks a lot, guys. Take care. See you next week. See you guys. All right. Lighters. Hello, Jeps. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to be so rude about watching Crocodile Dundee. Be cool. <laughs>